A Tampa woman remains in the hospital tonight after nearly being killed early this month. Officials say that John Collins, the father of one of her children, is responsible for stabbing her. Now he's asking a judge to release him on bond. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez has more on the judge's decision today. Heidi Slater remains in the hospital, recovering from a brutal attack that almost killed her. Prosecutors say this is the man responsible, John Collins. He was arrested and now wants out of jail. The Tampa mother wasn't able to testify against him at his bond hearing, but the lead detective was. I talked to one of the doctors that was there and they advised me that it was life-threatening injuries. Detective Henry Echenique told the court Heidi was stabbed in the neck and was not able to speak, but used a dry erase board to write down the horror she barely survived. Approximately seven stab wounds. Approximately seven, okay. Prosecutors say Heidi, who has a child with Collins, has suffered years of his abuse. And earlier this month, it almost turned fatal. They say Collins drove Heidi to this Tampa park on North 66th Street. He had just picked her up from work and demanded she hand over a bank deposit bag that contained $500 in cash. They say she refused. Collins then pulled out a knife and stabbed Heidi in the neck seven times. Somehow, she was able to get away. A bicyclist nearby ran to help her. Later, he seen a, a white female get out the car and it appeared like she had blood all over her um, as she stumbled to uh, uh, one of the houses that was nearby. Her daughter Kayla says her mom was leaving Collins and had already met someone new. Her mother remembers Collins' chilling words as he attacked her. Well, this is from her. She said that while he was doing it, he said, if I can't have you, nobody can, and that's why you're going to die today. Her mother had recently filed a restraining order against Collins for a prior assault, but he was able to track her down anyway. Now the judge is making sure that doesn't happen again. There are no conditions of release or bail which will reasonably protect the community from risk of physical harm. That means no bond for Collins. He will remain in jail until his trial. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. So Collins is charged with attempted murder and also grand theft.